Uh, it was an honor to fight Jennifer Maya. You know, uh, more than the belt, I wanted to fight the number one fighter and, and win, uh, the number one ranked fighter and win. And uh, I thought it was a close fight. You know, uh, I think I could have. Uh, it was, you know, close and didn't go quite as I had planned. You know, but um, I got to try out my my techniques, and uh, she's the better woman tonight. Um, three judges all had three different scores. One judge had you winning. Um, I'm assuming it was the first, first, two, first, second, and third. Um, what rounds did you think you won tonight? All the rounds kind of blended together, but I think she landed some more punches on me. You know, my nose is a little bit numb right now, so she did a good job. Uh, <laughs> my memory is a bit, uh, everything's blending together, so I'll go back and rewatch the fight and see what I can improve. You know, she's a great fighter, and it was an honor to fight her. Are you satisfied with what you put out there tonight? With me, be some love. Am I satisfied with what I put out there? I'm. Uh, I landed some stuff. Didn't land some stuff. Uh, whatever my coach said, and I managed to throw it landed. So that was pretty cool. Um, you know, I wish I I could do a little more. You know, that's uh, goals for the next fight. You know. Um, you seem to have a, a good a good um, advantage on the ground, but you had a tough time getting it there. Was that the game plan to take it to the ground or? <laughs> I wanted to get it to the ground at least once every round to win the round, you know, and I was just back there telling one of my coaches, uh, man, I couldn't get that arm bar, you know, and he was like, well, she's good. <laughs> so that's pretty much what it was. We're both good, you know, both good on the ground. Um, it was it was cool. You know, I, I'm happy with a lot of stuff I did. I just wish I could do more, could have done more to win. How are you, how are you feeling physically right now? Uh, my nose is numb and my jaw's a little numb, but nothing's broken. You know, I'll, I'll get better. I'm fine. A lot of bruising. Yeah. I guess. I guess I look. Everyone's asking me if my nose is broken, so I guess I haven't looked in the mirror yet. I guess something's wrong with it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you look like you've been in a fight. Yeah. Just don't show my mom and my dad. Just don't look at me. Like a ninja. Maybe I should wear a ninja mask. Yeah. People would be like, "Oh, that's Roxanne." That was kind of a part of my disappointment. I've never had such a good camp in my life. I've never been in such good shape. You know, I've never felt so good about my technique, and I still couldn't win. But, uh, you know, that's, um, you know, goals for the next fight. And uh, I'm, I, I always wake up in the morning excited to train, you know, so... Uh, Nothing has changed with that. I just, I just want to improve, you know, like a martial artist. I'm more of a martial artist, so it's always, I'm always a white belt, you know. So I mean, and uh, I always want to smile. I want to become strong enough to smile no matter what happens. So I left the cage with a smile, so that's an accomplishment for me. You're known as a happy warrior. Why is that so? Why was that so important tonight? To to leave the cage still the happy warrior, even in the cage. The Happy Warrior is my persona, it's part of me, and you know, I want to show to myself and to the world you know, uh, that I can still be true to my beliefs and my feelings, even in the darkest of times, which, I mean, this isn't the darkest time of my life, but it feels horrible, so I just want to smile and carry on. That's my motto, smile and carry on. And you, know, you had lots of fans, lots of friends here tonight. Um, what do you do now? You know, uh, my fans and friends and family will always support me. They just don't want to see me sad. They want to see me happy. So we're going to go out and have ice cream. And uh, they'll probably try hard not to talk about my nose right now. <laughs>